Remember what I said. Keep out of his way. All right? Hello, dear. Uh. You're early. Yeah. Hello, Dad. Hello, Pop. Hello, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> might have something contagious. <laughs> What's going on, Belle? You've complained every evening this week that you'd like a bit of peace and quiet while you're having your dinner. So I've told them to keep out of you, your well, way. Well, it does get a bit much, you know, three adult kids all living at home. Oh, don't tell me, tell them. Oh, they're bigger than me. They might get annoyed and throw me out. <laughs> I'll get your dinner. I'll have it in the living room. I'm going to watch television. No, no, it's, 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 not, it's not necessary. Not, not, not this. Oh, 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 this is ridiculous. Look, Dad, just tell us which room you want, OK? Yeah, but make your mind up, Dad, if running back with him forward to please you is where you are. You are the living room, if you wouldn't mind, and, and would you object if I had television on? Well, um, what do you say? I suppose you could have it on quietly. Dad? Hmm? No sport. <laughs> well, don't all rush to answer the door, will you? Yeah. Good evening, Mrs. Oh. Brown from Oakley Drive. Hi. I represent the local residents association. Oh. And Mr. Crabtree, isn't it? Yes, and I paid last week. Good. <laughs> now, you have four children, is it? Uh, in a manner of speaking, yes. Good, good. Now, then, we're holding the children's party on Saturday the 19th. We'd oh. love you to bring them along. It'll be great fun. There'll be lots to eat. Dead, the usual thing. Blind man's buff of balloons. <laughs> Three donkey rides, and each kiddie will be given a little present. Oh. Last year, it was a cramming set. Oh, very nice. Good, good. Now, how old are your kiddies? Uh, 20. 23. 19 and 3 weeks. And the other one's 24. What time do we have to be there? Will there be jelly of ice cream and sticky buns? Well, you see, I fancy dress. Yeah, all, all, all right. Very, very amusing. I'm afraid our children aren't anymore. This is them as they are now. Oh. Yes. Run along, children. <laughs> well, if you'd like to get away from them all, why don't you come along and help on Saturday the 19th? Parish Hall, 2 o'clock. I'll be there. Go on, go on. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love a conveying set. Been years since we had a donkey wide. We never go anywhere anymore. Sticky buttons. <laughs> this weekend. I don't, I don't want any more hard. arguments or, or, or difficulties. Hello. Oh, Raymond. Well, what brings you here? A taxi. The <laughs> taking the car. She's, uh, she's left me. Took most of her things. Oh, that's all I need. But what happened? Not a lot. I, uh, I just complained about my tea. Oh, you shouldn't criticise Raymond. But she cooked toad in the hole and it tasted like real toad. <laughs> <laughs> she got annoyed, said she was coming home here to you. Didn't you try to talk her out of it? No, I said I'd come with her and we could both get a decent meal. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought she was here and you'd come to take her back? No, I've just come to bring the rest of her things. I've got a nail varnish, suspender belt, a pair of toenail clippers I bought on our honeymoon. Wait, wait, just, just, just hold it on. Before you give us a complete inventory of your marital debris, I think we ought to talk about this, don't you? No, no, I've made up my mind. Frankly, I think I prefer to be single. But you're not single, Raymond. You're married. I know. I was there. Well, you're not going to desert my daughter. After all I've been through with Lorraine, I'm not so much a deserter as a refugee. <laughs> she is your responsibility. I walked her down the aisle. I, I handed her over to you. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I gave her. I gave her. And you took her. You bloody well keep her. <laughs> She's your wife, Raymond. Your committee. Yeah, I think I should have been. Look, you took her for better or worse. But she's a lot worse than what I took her for. <laughs> No, it's not going to get any better. So here. Look, I'm sorry, Dad. No, you had my regrets. I knew it. I knew it. You never should have married her in the first place. It wasn't my fault. 
No, I think I should reveal that in actual fact it was Lorraine that proposed to me. But you didn't have to say yes. You weren't pregnant, were you? <laughs> Arthur, calm down. Now, going berserk won't help. I wish I'd never set eyes on him. That's what Lorraine's always saying. <laughs> yeah, and she's always telling people how we first met. You know, when I was working in the travel bureau, she tells them she came in to book a holiday and I was the last resort. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't hold Raymond prisoner in the it's, living it's room all right, night. All right. Tracy's keeping an eye on him. Look, Beryl, I wanted a quiet evening watching television. I can't stand being in the same room as him, so... You'll stay in there while we find out what's happened to Lorraine. He's watching that film you wanted to see. Is he? Yes. Oh, Lorraine will probably phone. She always does when there's trouble between them. Yeah. British Telecom have made enough out of their relationship to put up a new post office tower. <laughs> what? Hold it. What, what's, what's going on? What, what's all this? What's all this? It's just a few drinks for the party, Dad. We're trying to arrange it somewhere else. Yes, working on the principle that most of our friends have sympathetic fathers. Mm. Excuse me, Raymond is getting very restless. Yes, right. You two lads go and sit on him or something. He's trying to ease out from under his responsibility. All right. Oh, anyone in? Evening each. Now, before you say anything, I am not here to find out who arrived in a taxi earlier on. And I am not here because I've got nothing better to do. Fair enough. Good night, Beryl. Okay. Ah. <laughs> All right, Beryl. He is not to know that I am here on a question of utterly crucial importance. And the question is, what have you run out of this time? As far as you're concerned, patience. <laughs> May I have a word with you outside his earshot, Beryl? Well, what is it? Your Lorraine is round at my place. She's what? I'm talking to Beryl. What's she doing round at your place? I am an emissary. She didn't come straight here, Arthur, because of the sort of attitude you've just been displaying. And who can blame her? I can put her up if you like. My Trevor says it's OK, as long as she doesn't object to my pets. Pets? You've got enough wildlife around there to restock London Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do exaggerate. Vera, I, I wonder... I wonder... If, <laughs> I wonder if I could have your assistance, please. Trevor, you want a glass of sherry? No, no, I, I won't. Thank you, Arthur. I've got uh, Goliath here, and he's proving to be a bit of a handful. Get... Oh, get, get. He's all worked up, Vera. He's, he's just tasted blood. You didn't give him that raw steak I chopped up for the piranhas. No, he's just had a lump out of my leg. Oh, get, get. Yeah, but I had to bring him out. He was doing GBH to the three-piece suite. He's a parrot. Shh, oh, shh, shh. He's always egging him on. That. Now that's a bloody parrot. We're discussing my daughter. Will you both? Will you both please keep your voice down? Here? If he hears the word parrot, he may very well. That's <laughs> taken care of that. Excuse then. me. Excuse. Excuse me. Yeah. Do you mind if I leave now? Why? Well, Lorraine's in the living room. She's oh. just come round from next door. She wants to see her mother alone. Oh, well, you, you stay here, Arthur. I'll go and talk to her in private. Good idea. I'll come with you. <laughs> Sit down. Come on, let's talk about this sensibly. Now, there's a lot to be said for marriage, you know. I dare say, in the not-too-distant future, it'll make a comeback. Yeah, my cousin, Frank, he's getting married next year. Oh, oh, is he? That's, uh, that's good. To a girl. Yeah, she's, uh... She's one of twins, oh, actually. Oh, that's, uh, that's very interesting, Raymond. Uh, how does he tell them apart? Well, for a start, the brother's got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there we are, then. But he is getting married, then. Yeah, and it serves him right. I've never liked him. Oh, Raymond, you haven't got the right attitude to this at all, have you? And you, you haven't been together with Lorraine long enough to know whether you're satisfied with married life. Oh, well, I'm satisfied. You are? Yeah, I've had enough of it. <laughs> Raymond, Lorraine is your wife, and you should give her a fair hearing. Oh, Look, don't interrupt, darling, should... please. We're having a private discussion. No, no, go on. You were saying about giving the wife a fair hearing. You... Well, I, um... <laughs> yes, darling, what, what, what would it be? I've talked to her, Raymond, and I'm sure she's willing to be reasonable, so it only requires you to be the same. But I always am. No, 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 really. No, if ever we have a difference of opinion and she's in the right... I give in immediately. And if you're in the right? That's never happened yet. You see what I mean? It's hopeless. It's hopeless. <laughs> oh, poor Lorraine. Cope with the differences that all married couples have occasionally. Yeah, that's it. Like, like your mother and I do. I mean, she gets a bit, uh, a bit peculiar from time to time, but we... we I do not. We, we, yes, you do, dear. We, we, we manage... What do you mean, peculiar? 
Well, you, you, you tend to sulk. We, we, we... I've never sulked in my life. Oh, come on, you're the past master of the feminine art of silent brooding, but we men... Oh, am I? Well, what about that holiday in Spain when you sucked for a week because I forgot to pack your snorkel? Well, that's <laughs> typical. Isn't it two years ago? Every time we have a few words, you oh. dredge up some petty grievance you've been harboring since time immemorial. Yeah, Lorraine's just but, like... Shut a... up! Tell you <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 If you and the wife want to have a little row, who am I to intrude? Yes, you started. No, I'm not. I didn't start it. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, start. I did not. Yes, did. Yes, Get back in there. <laughs> We are supposed to present a united front, Beryl. Oh, the... Oh. 